right, we are back with another Create a 5M server working in the spawn once again. This time we're going to be working with our style.css. So in the HTML folder, we're going to do a style.css here. <clears throat> now, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to copy and paste this in. We're going to be importing the URL for fonts, Google, and this Oswald, because Oswald, let's be real, it just looks like a good font. Uh, starting off right off the bat as well, we're going to do a spawn background. Uh, in here, we're going to have a width of 100%, a height of 100%, display of none, position of absolute, absolute, top of 50%, left of 50%, transform. And then this is going to be translate, and then it's going to be negative 50% or 50% and negative 50%. We're going to do a background color of black and a position of fixed because we want this to be a stable thing. So I'm going to open up a live server as well. Let's not have that. So, as you can see, we don't have anything displayed here except for the spawn background. Uh, if we change to block for an example, and we go here, you can now see we have it and they're right here. But for the time being, we will do none. Right after here, we're going to have a dot map. So dot map is going to contain, contain the width of 100, 100% and the height of also 100%. Now it's going to have the background, and it's going to be background colon url and inside we're going to do dot slash spawn menu dot png which you can get from my discord it's going to be in my discord um and you can just download it from there and then we're going to do a background size contain so now when we save and do this let me just change this back to block now you can see we have this background um obviously Resizeability is not looking uh, that hot right now. But we'll, we will fix that. Okay, dot now spawn dash markers. Spawn markers. Let's see. In here, we're going to do the width of 100%, the height of 100%, and position being relative here. Now we're going to do a keyframe thing here. So we're, I'm going to copy and paste this in and basically uh, tell you. So highlight is going to be changing opacity from 0 to 100 and changing the scale from when you are selecting it. So we're going to go dot marker, capital B, T, N. And in here we're going to do a color of RGB, which is going to be 5 to 15 and then 255. It's a nice light blue here. And then we're gonna do animation, animation name here. And this is gonna be this highlight. Uh, let's actually name it something different. Use a dash just so we don't get an error. And then we're gonna do an animation duration. And this is going to be 1.25 seconds. And then we're going to do a transform scale. And that's going to be of 2. So now when we save, you can now see when you load up, it will slowly get bigger. So when you get on the menu, it will be there, and then it will slowly get bigger. Uh, we could actually probably transform the scale to 1 here. Let's see, so it goes down. Um, so we need this. Let's do 1.5. So this end one will be 1.5. Uh, this one will be 1.3, 1.2, 1.1. And let's start it at 0 0.9, for example. So now when we save, we can refresh. You can see it gets bigger, and then it stays that big. So now we're going to have a couple things here. So we're going to have a dot marker, etn. Uh, and we're going to basically copy this. So we're copying this here. And then we're going to do an active. So this is going to be when the state is active. We're just simply going to change this color to red. And that's going to be it for this. 
So now we're gonna have dot marker, and then we're gonna have dot bus, uh, and this is gonna be position fixed. And what we're adding, what we're ending up doing is doing a top of like fifty-ish percent, and then a left of sixty-eight percent to be exact, uh, to be around. So what this is actually doing, yeah, this is nowhere. So obviously we're gonna have to do a real, a resize thing, but this is not gonna be the correct left. Um, I'm not gonna do the resizing here. But for an example, let's do 60% for an example. And it needs to go up like 49. And yeah, so that, that would be the Los Santos bus station right there. Uh, I'm not gonna do these other ones just yet. We're just gonna go right down to the tooltip because it's a lot easier. But uh, essentially we're gonna have um, these same exact things. So I'm, I'm gonna paste them in. They're not gonna be exact, but you can see we have bus, Pink, Airport, and Harmony, if I save it, they're going to be all over the place because uh, this was not the original map. I mean, we could probably change this pretty quickly here, though, if we wanted to. So, where's the Dream? Where is Dream? Oh, Dream Hotels was actually in Polito, wasn't it? It was. So, for an example, this would probably be like 30 now. And yeah, that that's pretty close to it. And we could do the same thing with Harmony. Harmony would be... Let's see, it would be located right about here. Um, so Harmony would need to go down a little more and then a little less. And a little more now. So let's do 46, for example. So 45.2 and then this one would be like 44.6 or something. Yeah, so that's close enough for that. And then Airport. Uh, left was just way off. Let's just do 70, do 65. Uh, okay, so let's do 69. It's a good number. 67, and then we're going to move it up a little bit, so probably like 4. And yeah, Los Santos Airport. And then lastly, we can do Pink Cage, which Pink Cage is right about, let's see, highway here, so it should be right here. Roughly right there. So we'll go in here. And change this. I feel like the height is probably decent. It's just this might be 55. No. So let's do, let's do even 60 here. Okay, not 60. 57. And yeah, that, that seems close enough. But we can deal with that all later. Now we're gonna do a dot tool tips text. Uh, this visibility being hidden, uh, width of 120 pixels, background color of black, RGBA, do RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.8 for an example, and then font size of eight pixels, because we don't want it too big. And we're gonna have that color of that font be white. So we're gonna set that to white, uh, text align to center. Uh, let's add a little padding as well. So we're going to do a padding of 5 pixels 0. And then a border radius of 6 pixels. And position of fixed. And then a Z index of 1. So now when we look at it, there's nothing. You can click it. So when you click it, you can see it's active and it turns red. Okay. Now we're going to do a dot spawn. Dash box here. Um, position being fixed once again, top of 90%, left, left 10%, transform, oh, transform, translate. Um, this transform translate is going to be the same exact up here. So we're going to just basically copy and paste this one in. And now a width of fit content adding right of five pixels, uh, padding left, also five pixels, and then a height of 100. Eh, let's just do like 80 pixels. And then a border radius, let's do five pixels. Text align, obviously gonna be in the center. 
and then a display of flex. So when we save it, it's going to look like this. For an example, for right now, it's going to look like this at least. Uh, obviously, stuff is going to change a little bit, and we can move this around, which we will end up moving around. I'm just trying to get the base down for all of us, and then I can show the details later. Um, so in here, we're going to have box details, display, flex, flex direction is going to be a column style. And then we're going to justify content, which is going to be flex start. And then align the items to center. And that's going to be in our box details. Nothing changes yet. Then we're going to do a spawn background dot disabled. And basically what this is is pointer events are going to equal to none. And then filter. And this is going to be sepia. 70%. Okay, where's the percent? There we go. And then we're going to have a dot spawn. Whoops. Spawn box. Span, which is going to be the text in our spawn box, which says spawn now. And it's going to be a font size. Let's do 30 pixels and then a color of white. What? White. So now when we save, uh, it does not change it just yet. Is gonna do a little more so dot spawn box image and this is gonna be a margin top right here. We're gonna do 10 pixels width of 65%, height of 65%, and a border radius of four pixels. And then we're gonna do a dot marker button hover so this is going to be a hover state of the marker button uh, we're going to change the cursor to oh, not inherit to grab Oops, to grab a transform scale to one point eh, let's just do two make it fucking simple i guess and then we're going to do a color of rgb and let's do 150 212 would be a little green. Let's actually switch this up. Just grab a nice green here and make it like that. Uh, now we're going to basically copy and paste this, remove everything in here. So for the hover, we're going to do a dot tool tip text here as well. So when you're hovering the tool, tool, te tool tip text, the visibility is now going to be visible. So when we hover, look at that. Harmony repairs, King Cage Motel, and so on. And now I'm not going to actually, I'm just going to copy and paste these ones in. So uh, these are just active states here. So when it is active, for an example, uh, when it's active, it's going to be this green. Um, and it'll stay active once we get the JavaScript done. But now we're going to do a spawn dash BTN, which is the spawn button and background color. Uh, we're going to do RGB, the same type of green here. Let's actually go a little darker though. So let's uh, darken that up. Let's do a color of white for the text, of course. Font family. We're going to do that. Oops. We're going to do Oswald, which is the font we imported, and then a font weight of 600, which is going to make it nice and bold. And then we're going to add a little bit of padding, which is 0 0.5 um, BW, which is visual width. And do, 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 dot spawn dash buttons. We're going to do a display of flex and flex direction row. And now we can do spawn. We can do the same thing, copy and paste, and then buttons. And then it's going to be button right here. And then we're going to do a margin left, five pixels. And then we're going to do a transition here. So transition, uh, 0.3 seconds. And then it's going to ease. And then we're going to need a few more things, which is going to be, we can copy and paste this. So we enter this, enter this spawn button, and then button dot red. And basically what we're going to do is background color, or, oops, background. 
uh, is just going to equal to red, as you can see. And now, lastly, we're going to do a hover. So after button, we're going to do colon and then hover. And the cursor is going to change to grab. So now when we save, uh, I actually don't like this just yet. Um, let me refresh. Uh, okay, that's not terrible. That is not bad at all. And that is actually going to be our CSS. There might be a little changes here and there. Uh, just check the description if there was changes that I made. Uh, for an example, this background is obviously going to have to be switched as it was made for a 1920 1080p background. Uh, I might be able to just do cover, right? Let's see this. Let me try with doing cover real quick and just see if that does anything. It might. Yeah. Okay. Cover worked a lot better. And yeah, obviously. So you'll get this little bad thing where it doesn't scale properly. And I'll put that in and I'll show you. I'll show you how to do it in the description. It's a lot more work though, however. So I'm not going to do it right away. Um, if we use contained that. Oh, that transformed the map going down. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do overflow hidden then. No, it won't. Okay. Well, we will fix that. We'll fix that up. Just check the description. And other than that, though, have a good one. Like, comment.